Good morning. It is another cold morning here, although this weekend says it's supposed to warm up, so we'll see about that. I, for one, am ready for warmer weather. Actually, we have had just kind of like the cold weather grumps, I guess. The first couple days of the week, it was just not very fun. <laughs> I did not get out the camera. It was just a lot of squabbling and dreariness and whew, finally that second day, I actually put the kids in the van and took them to a park, which was 30 minutes away, but I just was fine with having the peace and quiet in the van. And then I let them get out and play. It was only 33 degrees. I stayed in with the little ones, but they had a great time on this playground, just running around and it was good. It was good. And then on the way back, we stopped at Buckeyes, which was real, um, pretty close to it and bought their big giant bag dollar bag of popcorn. We bought two of those and I always keep little Ziploc bags in the van so we dished out individual size popcorn baggies and on the long ride home they munched on those. So it was a good break but we're back at it again today. This is kind of an unusual day. I have my little guys here with me and Elsie and Samuel are in the other room working on some things. Um, Bella and Leo yeah. and Silas are with Jason back at the local food pantry they're having a special something today that they needed some helpers and so they went there to help I'm not even sure what it is to tell you the truth but they are always so excited to serve and help and I think they're going to be working in a back room repackaging some food things packing them up I don't know we can ask them when they get home what they did I am here in the kitchen doing dishes and you know what this is how you keep a tired two-year-old from clearing things up while you're doing just talk it out, guys. Jeremiah, talk it out. Oh, Lydia's feeling. Jeremiah and Samuel have been playing. Lunch is done. Lydia's happily squealing, right, James? And James is just resting on my back while I wash these dishes. I had to remember to get this ergo out for him because like I said it's just been a tough transition period since he learned how to climb out of his bed and he's not feeling well nap time is just not happening so I'm getting him to do things like lay on me while I read books to rest or this um, just so that he still has that rest time but it's that tough transition period when you have a two-year-old who is very curious about the world. It was so funny. We had a we have some subscribers from Jamaica. It's a mom and a daughter. <laughs> Are you squealing back at her? And they said they like to watch and see what kind of mischief James gets into. Well, there's lots to see these days because he's just thinking of everything. This morning he. I guess learned how to climb on the kitchen trash can and I found him up on the counter looking out the window there. Okay, that's the end of the dishes. We're gonna let those air dry. If I have a bunch of dishes, I always like to let them air dry because it's not one more job I have to do. I think my dishwasher might need to be cleaned inside or have something looked at because all of a sudden it's just not doing it. I'm pulling the dishes out and it's like they're not really clean. Like they even have almost like a little bit of oil on them or grease. If, if that was there, it's not getting it cleaned. So I just hand washed them all today and I'm going to have Jason look at it and see if it needs something. What you doing, buddy? You ready to get down? Okay, you stayed on my back through all the dishes and rested, didn't you? Okay, get down now. I actually, here, I'll get you down. This is all yours. Okay, there you go. In this just for something different for Lydia, um, before I put James' high chair away, I actually just propped a blanket in there so she could sit in there. Oh, you look like you're done too. You, she's been watching the boys play and having lots of fun. What do you think about that? And say it's your poncho. Lydia. Yeah, she's had lots of fun, but I think she's ready to get out too. You guys are having fun. The bigger kids are home. They brought some food with them from this morning. They brought these cabbages. 
some apples and oranges, so I won't need to buy those when I go grocery shopping this weekend. That's pretty exciting. And the apples are pretty good. They're crispy and good. And then some other food that was just for the chickens. They plant cucumbers that had gotten past the eating point, and so they brought them home to feed the chickens. So what did you guys do? You worked hard? Oh, and, and Bella got a... Yes, and potatoes. And Bella got a... Yes, an egg basket. That's so cute. It's 25 cents. Found that for a quarter. What a deal. What did you guys do this morning? Work. No, this is for chicken. Egg turn it in. Um, you worked. We are for four hours and 30 minutes. Were you just bagging food? Or? No. We were lucky. We were in the giant building. Yeah, we didn't have to bag food. But, um, we did. We didn't bag food. The people, there's like a line and people get stuff. So the only thing I bagged was. Um, cabbage, you put one in each bag, but I didn't bag other than that, we, we just handed out food and then at the end we helped clean up and stuff. Nice. So we just stood there for like four hours. We am really clean because it took like an hour and a half to clean up. And now we're going to get to a little bit of school work. What? Yeah. I thought it was school work. No, it's not. It's still, it's Thursday. Back. Yesterday, was that a holiday? Because people like... No, yesterday was not a holiday. Yeah. I asked if we were off school. Well, just, right, they probably wonder what you're doing out of school. Just tell them you're homeschooled. You can start school at 2.45 p.m., just like we're going to right now. I know you're excited. We just have a little bit of math and some CBS, CBS. homework, because that's tomorrow. Fishing pole out. Oh, so I can jump over okay. your fishing pole. Fishing pole. Where is it? You have all the fish. These are magnetic fish he has here. Why don't you lay them on the ground and then we'll find the fishing pole? Here it is, James. Here you go. You almost done, Samuel? Oh, good old slap dog! James! <laughs> You're not supposed... Uh, he kind of misses the idea, guys. He puts the magnet directly on the fish without the actual, like, holding the fishing pole thing. <laughs> Boy, you catch your fish every time like that, yeah, don't you? Baby, you catch your fish! I guess you only need one. Now, one time doing that in real James, life, here. James. I know. Here, Mama will show you how. Here, watch. Okay, you hold the, you hold the pole like this. Watch, James. You hold the pole. See? Okay, then you shake it off. Okay, get another one. I don't have it. Mom. Do it upside down. Yay. It's easier. There you are. I'm ready to finish reading you your book. You had to get a band aid. That's the other book we've been reading lately. Let's see if I can find it here. This was also from the library. This was a fun book. That's a good book. The Boo Boos That Changed the World was about the invention of Band-Aids. Jason pretty much dropped the kids off and left. He's gone. Again, he has to... He's meeting with someone this afternoon and then going to his men's Bible study. So he will not be back until... And drop me on the bikes and bike Okay. Yeah, he's a busy guy. So he will be back bedtime or depending how early I get the kids to bed it could be after bedtime we'll see so we're doing schoolwork in the evening and then I'll probably let the kids watch a show they checked out some shows from the library and do just kind of a laid-back dinner because when he's gone like this all day I'm just tired and so we just kind of keep it as simple as possible yep put it on do you need help I need help 